Good morning. Today I want to give you a quick tutorial of the assisted tuning fork test that's available with the Raptor RP1 from Custom Signals. In general radar applications, the operator is required to do a series of tuning fork tests to verify the system is working properly. At a minimum, you'll have to do three fork tests per antenna, or if you have same lane options, four tests per antenna. Two stationary using a single tuning fork, and then two moving tests using two tuning forks. Anyone who's done the two tuning fork tests knows it can be a challenge to get both of them in front of the antenna depending on the car configuration. So if you do the two tuning fork tests for stationary, two for moving, front and rear, that's eight individual tests just to verify the system's working properly. If you're required to do a test before and after the issuance of a summons, you could do a dozen or better tests a day or over a hundred tuning fork strikes in your shift. What the assisted fork test does for you is it simplifies that process. You still do the stationary tests of a single tuning fork and then a single tuning fork, but then the Raptor retains those results and automatically calculates your moving mode for you. It then puts you on the rear antenna, two more single fork tests, and you're done. Let me show you how it works. When you power up the Raptor, or when you use the self-check button, the system will do a series of internal tests and move you into the tuning fork test. This is what it looks like. Do the check mark. Screen is doing a self-test. And now it moved me into the tuning fork test. So as you can see, I'm on my front antenna, and it's telling me to ring the low fork. So I'll strike the low fork, hold it in front of the antenna, and I get a 35 and pass. Now the 35 is relative to the frequency of the tuning forks you're using, so your results might vary if you're using KA. Now it's telling me to do the high fork. And you can see I got a 65 and pass. Then the last line that was displayed was the result of the moving test, which showed a 30 and passed. Now because my display has a K and a KA antenna, I can't use K tuning forks on my KA. It just won't work. So therefore, I can't do my rear antenna test, which is why you're seeing a failed. If you had a dual antenna system, you would do your single strikes on that rear antenna. It would do a moving calculation, and then the system would automatically move into an operational mode. That's it. Sweet and simple. Eight strikes reduced down to four, and no more fighting to get two antenna tuning forks in front of an antenna at any time. The assisted fork test from Custom Signals. I hope you enjoy it, and have a great day.